Jacob, first and foremost, it's great to have you back. How happy are you to have signed? Yes, I'm very happy to have signed back at all the shot. It feels like a home, basically. It feels like it feels good to be back home in a way. Um, yeah, I'm very happy to be here and delighted to get the season started. And the fans will obviously know you a bit from your time here before, but tell us a bit more about yourself, what positions you can play and the sort of player you are. Well, obviously the fans do know about me from the time I was here before, but obviously um, I probably played a different position when I was here before, probably out wide. I've obviously transitioned into more of the more natural position for me as a midfielder, um, which I wanted to play when I was here, but didn't get the opportunity to. So obviously I'm hoping to get the opportunity to now in this time around. Obviously with a um, kind of new way, the gaffer wants to play, it kind of suits me as well. Um, and I've been obviously playing central or a central role um, most recently, so I've been used to it and comfortable in it. Let's talk about obviously you had that time away with Dartford. How was that for you? Did you feel that you learned a lot during your time away with, from the club? Yeah, definitely learned a lot of time. De definitely learned, learned a lot um, on my time away. Obviously, being in a new place, new lifestyle, new different experiences. So um, yeah, it was different. It, it was a lot different. Obviously, um, it was, it's obviously Dartford's a part-time club, um, which is a full-time club, which is um, a reason why I wanted to come back as well. Obviously, getting back into a full-time environment was always the best thing for me. Um, Making that decision last last season obviously was a difficult one, but um, I made a decision and I stuck with it. And um, part time, I can just happily say it wasn't for me, but um, yeah, it probably helped my body out <laughs> with the injuries I used to have and that sort of stuff. Probably helped my body out with the rest and recovery, but um, I need to be in a full time environment and kicking on with my career really. And let's talk about obviously the injuries a little bit as well. How are you feeling from that front? Are you all okay? Are you ready to sharp to go? Yes, yeah. My body's in the best condition it's been in for a long, long time. Like I've actually just been kind of just investing in my body. That's that main thing because that was my main issue, just getting injured or niggles and things. So I also live by something Kins told me. Kins just told me, just play for everything, you'll become the best. So um, that's what I was kind of doing last season and I've kind of just gradually just taken that into my general general like, lifestyle. Just just go through it. So yeah. Because you come back here and there's there's a few changes, you know, just even around us, there's a new training yes. facility, there's, you know, other facilities, new players, new coaching staff. It does feel like from the outside looking and maybe things are improving and there's a bit of more ambition with the club this year than ever before. Yeah, 100%. Obviously, when I've come in, um, the new training ground, obviously, you can see it's, it's a different change and I think it's a step up from what we were used to when I, when I was here before. Um, the new staff members, obviously, I've known, I've known Jamie, the new staff member from my time at Crystal Palace, so I'm kind of... Um, aware of what he is and what he's good at and um, and obviously the rest of the staff members were here before so it's, it's not like I don't know anyone and the, obviously the players that I do know with the influx of the new players you can see it's a good group and um, it's a welcome change and the changing room is probably the best I've seen seen it since I was at Aldershot and I've been here. Because over the summer you've also had what you described as off-camera as the best experience of football is going away and playing part of the Gold Cup. Tell us a bit more about that. Yes, uh, being part of the Gold Cup with Grenada, uh, definitely the best experience I've had in the football pitch. Um, any any international call up and anything to do with your international team is obviously going to be an experience. But playing in the Gold Cup, which is that my term, well, our our region's Euros, is it's a huge thing. Um, and obviously the publicity and the um, and the expectation of the country and it's like the weight of the, where the world on your shoulders in some sense. But it's a good thing. Like um, literally, pressure is a privilege, and um, I feel like um, I've learned a lot from that experience and. It can, bring that experience, what I've learned there, to all the season. Exactly that, you feel like, you know, just speaking to you now, you feel like a bit of a change, that's a bit more confidence about you and you feel like you can take that now going into the next season, what will be an exciting one for all of us? Yes, 100%. Obviously the fans are back in the stadium this season as well, which is a big thing. I was lucky enough to play in front of fans while I was in um, at the Gold Cup. So the fans are back in the season, which will bring a welcome lift to the football club. Um, it's like a 12th man obviously here playing here before. Um, and yeah, definitely, um, I'm more confident in myself as a player and as a person. So I feel like I can um, affect the change room and affect the team how it needs to be. Of course, you know the manager from your time here before. How much of an influence was he in coming back and signing on with us? Oh, a huge influence. Um, Gaffer's obviously, um, I, I tried to keep in contact with him as much as possible. Um, and obviously this season, coming back here, I, literally, I just, last week I had nowhere to train. So he let me come and train basically. Um, and then obviously since then we've been training and then he's, we've been trying to work something and yeah, I've been, he's been good with me the whole time and yeah, I just want to repay him with my performances and what I can do on and off the field. We spoke about that as well, obviously you are quite the versatile player, you can play a number of positions and obviously with the system we're looking to play, as the manager spoke to you about as well, you are going to be in a, a good addition to the squad in the sense that you can play a number of positions and have an influence on the game as well. Yeah, definitely. 
Um, I feel like being a versatile player is the key thing in football. Obviously, the best ability is availability. So being able to actually be on the field at any point um, is what I pride myself on. And being able to do a number of different jobs and you know be able to be seen in a number of different positions and playing well in them, um, I think it's only a credit to me and obviously to the team. And just on that final, final question, what are your goals and targets for next season? The goals and targets always as many goals and assists as possible. Um, to push all the shot as high up at the table as possible. I feel like we need to get back to where all the shot was when I first signed, which was a club pushing for promotion. Um, so I feel like we need to get back to that. But um, I feel like with the structure this year and the things that I can see in person, personally that have changed, we can definitely push for that. Push for that. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Oh.